All right, let's gather together and get started here. It's a good morning. What a beautiful day. I, I love fall. I love it when it starts to get cool in the morning like this. And doesn't get too hot during the day. You can start to get your sweater vests out again. Uh, what is a pastor without a sweater vest? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's good to gather on Sunday and to be able to do this study of church history with you here in our adult Sunday school. I love early church history. And let me just say that I try very hard to not read myself into the early church fathers, as they're called. Jesus said, don't call anyone your father. So I do have to be careful with that accepted terminology. But when you look at the early church leaders, uh, pastors, servants, whatever is the right biblical word for them, uh, you see that there's a lot of variety within their orthodoxy. And you can see elements of Catholicism in their teaching. You can see elements of the charismatic movement in their teaching. You can see elements of Protestantism in their teaching. And, and it's kind of, you know, a lot of stuff in there. And so I try to be fair to all Christian groups and say, well, here's something that sounds very Catholic. Or here's something that sounds very charismatic. Or here's something that sounds very evangelical. But we have to recognize that they were an infant church. They were not a fully developed church. They hadn't had the centuries that we have had to be able to be challenged on the teaching of the Word of God and to refine our understanding of the theology and Scripture. And so hopefully we've come to the point where we can take what is great from the early church fathers, uh, reject what were some of the tendencies that ended up producing.